I'm Rod Weatherby. I'm Dave Noel, and you're watching Nutshell.tv. What do we got today, Rod? Uh, today we're going to talk about Hidden Doggerland. Hidden, Hidden Doggerland. Doggerland. Awesome. Hidden Doggerland is uh, an area of land which is now sunk beneath the sea. Hence being uh, hidden. Uh, it's the North Sea. It's a little episode of land between uh, the UK, Ireland, Great Britain, and uh, was that Denmark over there? Denmark, yeah. yeah. So, so Denmark, uh, the Channel Islands, Northern Scotland, that whole area at one time was uh, above sea and was populated apparently fairly uh, fairly heavily yeah. but this was quite a long time ago yeah, um, what about 10,000 years ago yeah, longer than 10,000 years ago i mean 18,000 bc they figured these are the, the rough dates 18,000 bc to uh, 5,000 uh, bc it was actually um, so populated it could have been almost the heartland of europe uh, at the time there's a geophysicist in scotland at uh, the uh, st andrews university he's been working with fishermen and with oil companies because there's a lot of oil exploration in the North Sea in this area and they've actually been dragging up through their work in oil and in the fisheries they've been dragging up uh, artifacts including mammoth bones uh, really? yeah and they've even found uh, evidence of standing stones uh, under the sea hmm. so this was uh, a, a civilization I mean it was a real culture and then it sank beneath the waves just like Atlantis just like Atlantis and we don't mean the uh, holiday resort, right? No, no. no. Uh, however, it's not, uh, it's not Atlantis. No. 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 Well, could it be confused with Atlantis, though? I mean, uh, like, well, what, what are the two stories? I mean, you have Doggerland. It was uh, submerged very slowly. First it was grassland, then it was uh, marshland, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Turned into wetland, and then uh, just eventually the seas kind of took well, over. Well, they, they, they do figure there was a, a tsunami. The geophysicists who were working on this, mm -hmm. uh, they set up a display with dioramas and actual artifacts from Doggerland, and they had it at the uh, Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition. So it's not like Atlantis, because Atlantis isn't real, in as much as Atlantis is a civilization-ish. Uh, but it's also not like Atlantis, because Atlantis disappeared over the course of a night. Or one day and one night. Yeah, yeah one, one evening of misfortune. That's right. Yeah. Santorini is more like Atlantis. Why is that? So it's more like the island of Santorini uh, in the Mediterranean, uh, which was inundated with, uh, I believe, a tidal wave after a volcano uh, popped. But it's interesting, just to take it back to Atlantis, when Plato mentioned Atlantis, he actually mentioned Atlantis not as an ideal society, which a lot of writers for the last hundred years or more have said, uh, you know, Atlantis was this wonderful society and it was perfect. And, that's not what Plato said when he used Atlantis. Atlantis was actually an example of a civilization that was failing. Oh yeah, that's right. And Athens, Athens, Athens was the uh, was the great civilization, the that perfect would, civilization that would actually go through time. Exactly. So why people keep talking about Atlantis, I have no idea. Well, I was actually kind of wondering, you know, what would actually lead to that kind of a, a complete misconception? I mean, obviously, uh, what was that guy's name in the '70s that wrote uh, Charles Berlitz? Charles Berlitz. What was it, Atlantis Rising? Or, um, or Atlantis Found? Oh Atlantis gosh, I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, we'll come up with it. You know, Charles Berlitz wrote this yes, book please. back in the 70s. Yeah. And it was uh, uh, basically saying, you know, how the Atlanteans were advanced civilization and all this kind of stuff. But apparently they weren't advanced enough to build dams or dikes. And, uh, and again, oddly enough, in classical times, in the, in the past, shortly after Plato was writing it, there were people who thought Atlantis was real and maybe misunderstood that he was just making up a fake civilization as yeah. an example. But, but, but even then, like Plato is saying, you know, but those Atlanteans, they were jackasses, you know, like why would anyone want to aspire to, to be a civilization like that, which ultimately, you know, got their, you know, just comeuppance when the earth reclaimed it. You know, it, it just seems kind of odd that, that Charles Berlitz would completely misunderstand the, uh, uh, the parable or the metaphor that was. He makes great travel guides. Yes, he does. <laughs> I'm Rod Weatherby. I'm Charles Berlitz. Welcome to sunny, sunny North Korea, home of the world's largest egg salad sandwich.